checking, checking. One, two, three, checking. Can y'all hear me? Sounds like chicken. <laughs> Just making sure y'all can hear me. Everybody hear me okay? All right. So my dumbass, uh, by accident, threw away the adapter from my lightning cable from my phone to the receiver on the microphone. And now I have no microphone. I was just so inspired to finally make a video since I haven't made a video in such a long time. I was so inspired to create a video today. And I looked through all of my things and remembered this one stupid day where I looked at the adapter and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna need this. I don't know why I would need this. I don't use those headphones anyways. I have the Apple Lightning headphones. Those work so great for me. Oh, Lana. Sometimes I wonder how I got this far. So where am I, might you ask? Or you probably don't care. But as some of you may have noticed, um, I haven't been online and I haven't been on social media, uh, and I haven't posted anything on my YouTube in a while. And we'll get to that. But as some of you might be wondering, where is it that I am physically? I am in sunny Ecuador. I guess it's not so sunny today. Uh, the sun did come out just a little while ago, but it's been very cloudy. I'm here in Mangler Alto, which is two minutes south of Montanita, Ecuador, and I have been in Ecuador since April. Okay, I arrived on my birthday actually on April 6th, which is really fun. Gifted myself that. And I went to Manta after an ayahuasca ceremony here. I went to Manta to work with this shaman. Turns out this guy is a total sleazeball and he was lying about everything. This guy was getting medicine from the jungle here, close to Tenam, Urkumayan. And his medicine was just so fire, okay? Like it was the best ayahuasca I've ever drank. And um, in, in the last five years that I've been drinking, when I tried this, I was like, whoa, this is it, this is it, this is legit. And long story short, I'm not gonna get into how this sleaze ball basically stole all our money for the medicine and um, claimed that he was working for free. He's doing this work of God for free um, because he doesn't want to reincarnate into this life no more. Well, I guarantee to you that the karma that he is going to collect from doing the kind of shady shit he's been doing, he is definitely going to reincarnate on this planet as a pig next life. And I do believe that that is the last reincarnation before your soul becomes nothing, okay? Not in a good way, no. Like your soul just vanishes it into the rest of source. Not in a good way. <laughs> Meaning all of the lives that you have lived here, they are nothing. They're worth absolutely nothing because you have just been a sleazeball your, all of your lifetimes, okay? You're just a sleazeball of a soul. So anyways, we're not gonna talk about this guy no more, okay? Long story longer, after three months in Manta, um, I decided that I wanted to relocate from Peru to Ecuador. I lived in Peru for about a year and a half and I just fell in love with Ecuador. The jungles, the climate, it's got like 47 different climates here. It's incredible, it's a pretty small country. Um, there's volcanoes, there's rainforests, there's jungles, there's beaches, gorgeous beaches, as you can tell. And it's cheap, not as cheap as Peru, okay? But it's cheap enough. And there is medicine here and it is available everywhere, just like Peru, okay? Obviously it's not the Sacred Valley, but thank God it's not the Sacred Valley because the Sacred Valley, there is nothing sacred about it, okay? Um, other than the mountains. Yeah. That's gonna ruffle some feathers, Lana. That's okay. So in June, 
at the end of June, I left back to Peru, gather all my things. And after two weeks, I came back to Ecuador and I extended my visa for another 90 days. So when you first come to Ecuador, they give you 90 day tourist visa, okay? So for the whole year, you only get 90 days. However, you can extend your tourist visa for another 90 days for $153, $54. Um, you can't just leave the country and come back. You have to go to an embassy or like an immigraciones office and you have to extend your visa that way, okay? Which is still not enough time to build a house and grow a community and start your own garden and raise cattle and do all the things you want to do <laughs> because you're still on a tourist visa, okay? Anywho, I decided to come back with all my things and I am now down to one backpack and one suitcase, pretty big suitcase, it's still too big. I'm still trying to downsize a little bit, but it's hard when you're going from a warm place to a cold place because warm clothes are also bigger, you know, and they take up more space in your suitcase and such. So it's a little rough. However, we're gonna make it work, okay. So now I am finishing up my second 90 day visa. I leave in two and a half weeks. I won't actually be staying for the full 90 days this time around. Um, and I will be going to the States to visit my family, okay? And then we shall see. Now, you might be wondering why the hell am I standing here talking to you over there, especially without a microphone and yelling when instead I could bring you closer and I could be talking a lot quieter, right? You might be wondering, I don't know, maybe. And all I gotta say is the reason why I was inspired to even make this video to begin with was because I found this really dope YouTube channel. His name is... Fuck, what is his name? Vegetable Police. I found this guy doing the carnivore diet and I was like, in the middle of my own carnivore journey, still am, by the way, and I came across his channel and I just felt my whole attention sucked into his YouTube channel, okay? And I mean, this isn't just one video, this is like countless videos. And I just couldn't stop watching because first of all, he stands like this at a distance. He uses a microphone, not like me. I'm gonna get an adapter though. You just wait, okay? You just wait, come back next time. Hopefully it won't take six months for me to post another video. And he stands all awkwardly like this and he talks all funny. He, he's got this like super dry sense of humor and he experiments with his diet, okay? Like he just does one diet after another after another and it just kind of works, okay? And I was like, Dude, this channel is like nothing fancy. Yeah, this guy is just out there standing in the middle of a field talking to people on his camera, probably camera, not phone. I'm only the rookie here using my phone to video record this without a microphone, I might add. And here's the crazy thing. He also uses the same clip of a video for all of his videos as his intro. And it's just like him dancing in like, um, in a grocery store. And so I was like, hey, I can do that. I can do that too. I am the world's worst dancer, but I could do that. Cause why the hell not? It works. It got my attention, do you know? And today, today I realized, man, this guy is onto something. I don't know why I enjoy his videos so much, why he's got my whole attention, and why I keep coming back every couple days to watch his new videos. I'm still figuring that out. However, it really inspired me to get my ass up and record a video. It doesn't have to be fancy. I realized why I probably got so discouraged or unmotivated to post videos to begin with was because it was a lot of fucking work, okay? It was like videoing this, videoing that, videoing this, and videoing that, and like vlogging, you know? Like what I'm doing with my life and where I'm going. And 
It was just so much fucking work, especially to like edit this shit. It was like taking me days, all right? Well, yeah, some videos took me days. And I just kind of stopped liking it, you know? And I was like, man, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. And then there was like this little voice in my head that was like, you know, you can just talk to people like, like you're talking to an actual person. You can just talk to your camera. You know, and I was like, there's another little voice right here that's like, no, fam, no one's gonna watch that. Then the other voice is like, Who the fuck cares? And the other voice is like, We do. We care. Because we care about the likes and we care about the views. No, we actually don't, dude. And the other voice is like, We actually do. And the other voice is like, No, we fucking don't. And it wasn't until I watched this guy's video again where it clicked. I was like, Dude, it doesn't fucking matter. It actually doesn't matter. So, this little battle inside my head that was going on where it's like, it matters, no it doesn't, yes it does, no it doesn't. I realized what actually matters is me getting creative again. And just posting for the hell of it, you know? Just posting for me. Posting for later on, for my grandkids. <laughs> um, yeah, those guys. <laughs> this is for those guys. If they'll ever happen. Um, God, first I need some kids to have some grandkids. And I'm already 32, so I don't know if this is ever going to happen. Mom, if you're watching, you're probably never going to have any grandkids for me. Just letting you know. I do have a maracado. And I have a bell. That's pretty good, you know? So anyways, back to this guy vegetable police yeah so he inspired me to try doing what he's doing and you might say that's copying and you will be right I am sort of copying him yes do I care no no I don't because I am still trying to find my flow and I'm trying to figure out what it is that I'm doing and I haven't been very creative the last six months because I've just been going from one place to another and exploring Ecuador. And honestly, I did not want to videotape everything that I saw and everywhere that I went because it was just so fucking annoying. And it took me out of the present moment whenever I had to think of like recording something for the YouTube channel, for my viewers, instead of just watching or in seeing what I'm seeing right there and then, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, yes, I'm fucking copying him. And I'm making it my own, making it original. I'm not talking about the carnivore diet. Um, I'm not talking about his workouts, you know, or the workouts that I'm doing, because I'm not, I'm not doing any workouts. I should be. Um, but when you're traveling nonstop, it's kind of hard to like motivate yourself to like get up in the morning, roll out your mat, or go to the gym, you know? It's really fucking hard because you're going from one place to another to another to another and don't get me wrong I'm not complaining this has been amazing um, but it's just a lot of work you know and here you'll see some of the videos that I did take um, that I do want to share like this one of my house yeah it's a nice looking house isn't it it's not bad, right? Like, I did some dietas here, and it's been legit, not gonna lie. It's been a great house. It served me really well. Yeah, totally. And, and you might be wondering why my fridge is empty. Um, good question. I put my empty plates in there is because I don't actually eat here and I don't actually cook in this house. Um, I do it at my friend Max's house. And the alcohol bottle is not mine. Just kidding, it is. I totally bought that and it's empty. But I didn't drink it. It's um, only for my plants. Yeah, I'm infusing my plants with alcohol. Yep, and that's the cute little bathroom there. All cute and dandy. And that's the house, yeah. It's a pretty, pretty cute little place, and this is where I've done my dietas. 
you know, and uh... <sighs> this is so much better. I should have been sitting the whole time, but then it wouldn't have been cringe, you know, and then I wouldn't be copying that dude. But I really am trying to copy his style because it's clearly working, okay? And I think the whole point is to be as cringe as possible so that you can get over whatever weird complications you have with yourself or your inner being. You know, it's like, if you're not cringing out yourself, then are you even living? That was lame. If you're not cringing out yourself, then are you even being creative, you know? And you might say, well, you're copying somebody else's style. That's not creative, why not? But it is because I say my own things, you know? I'm not plagiarizing anybody here. I'm just sharing what I've been up to and why the hell I haven't been online in six months, okay? And I'm doing it in a style like his. And I'm being upfront about it. Okay? <laughs> and again, the whole point here is that I'm finally getting back out there. And the little creativity wheels are turning. And soon, before you know it, I will be doing other things. Okay? Probably not vlogging again because vlogging is just taking way too much of my time and it's just not worth it I mean a I don't want people to know where I'm at what I'm doing until after I leave probably you know something like that and B I just don't have enough energy or mental capacity to keep people updated I really don't I don't even have the mental capacity to answer whatsapp messages or any kind of messages because there's too many goddamn messages there's facebook messenger there's instagram there's twitter there's reddit there's youtube comments there's fucking signal and telegram and there's just way too many goddamn applications to respond to people and i just can't do it anymore you know like a girl's gotta live at times and I can't be responding and living at the same time. It just doesn't work, you know? So anyways, like I said, this is just to get my creativity back and running. And this is to post something super cringy, um, maybe even annoying to some people. I don't fucking care. I just need to do something because all of this dietas and all of this medicine that I've been drinking, it's just kind of like fueling this fire, but the fire's not going. That's a terrible analogy. I hope you know what I mean. I just feel like I sat on my ass for too long and not and haven't done enough. Ha! Huh, but we probably all feel like that, huh? Especially when we open up our Instagram and we see how people are like doing all this stuff and getting promoted, getting married, having babies and all of this other stuff. And we're like, whoa, I should be, oof. I should be, I should be, yeah? Should you be? Or sh should you just not open up your Instagram? Because let me tell you, I didn't have my Instagram application on my phone or my Facebook or TikTok since April. And that was so liberating and free. And I was like, oh man, I'm on the right path. Everything's great. I'm doing all the right things. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I get back on Instagram and all of a sudden, this little voice in my head, you should be you should be what Lana I should be what you should be doing this and you should be a lot further ahead than where you're at where the hell am I exactly
I think that's enough for today.